This is Travis Holmes with your Viking report for January 3rd. The men's basketball team opened its home slate in league play against Loyola and were led by Aaron Pogue, who tied a career high with 16 points and grabbed 12 rebounds in a 73-55 victory for CSU. Trey Harmon added 14, while Norris Cole and Jeremy Montgomery scored 12 points each. The Vikings out-rebounded Loyola 38-32 and scored 28 points off of 18 Rambler turnovers. Cleveland State tacked on 18 fast-break points and building a 41-24 halftime lead and never looking back. UIC came calling to the Wolstein Center on New Year's Day where they were quickly greeted by Trey Harmon. And they were in the zone the first time down. Montgomery has it out top. Went in the air to shoot it, then passed it last moment to Harmon. And it's good from three-point range. New shot clock. Norris Cole with it left wing. They'll give it to Harmon off the pick right wing. His triple try is good. Threes, he's attacking the basket. And he's also basically the main player in the Vikings defense. Inbounds to Harmon, left wing. Three-pointer, good. Harmon's four three-pointers helped him notch a career-high 24 points against the Flames in an 83-59 victory. Norris Cole added 21 points while dishing out six assists to go with six rebounds and six steals. The Vikings never trailed in the game and scored 21 points off of 24 UIC turnovers while also outscoring the Flames in the paint 38-18. Cleveland State's record improved to 15-1 overall and at 4-0 sit atop the Horizon League heading into this weekend's road tilts at Butler on ESPNU Friday night and at Valparaiso Sunday afternoon. The women's team opened its league schedule on the road in Chicago. The Vikings started the road swing on New Year's Eve with a 65-59 loss to UIC. Shanita Garland led four CSU double-digit scorers with 17 points, while Shea Winton put up 12 points with eight boards. Janelle Adams also scored 12, and Takima Keene scored 10 in the loss. Cleveland State trailed by 11 at halftime, but battled back to a five-point deficit twice before falling. The Vikings committed a season-low 14 turnovers while forcing UIC into 24 of their own. The Vikes bounce back on Sunday behind Takima Keene's career-high 20 points and Garland's 19-point, 8-rebound, and 5-assist effort in a 76-58 win over Loyola. Cleveland State built a 13-point halftime lead and led by as many as 23 points in the contest. Shea Winton and Destiny Blue each posted double-doubles with Winton putting up 12 points and 10 boards and Blue scoring 10 to go with 11 rebounds. The women open up home play in the Horizon League this week with a Thursday night tilt against Milwaukee and against 21st-ranked Green Bay on Saturday afternoon. Both Lawrence Cavallo and Court Lehrer recorded victories for the wrestling team at the Midlands Invitational in Evanston, Illinois last week. The Vikings are back in action Tuesday night in their fourth dual meet of the season at Woodling Gym against Kent State. The Golden Flashes are ranked 24th in the coaches' poll. The meet will be streamed live at csuvikings.com. Cleveland State rounds out the week at Indiana where they will compete against the Hoosiers as well as Gardner-Webb and SIU Edwardsville. And the swimming and diving teams will compete for the first time in over a month at the Holiday Invitational in Puerto Rico on Saturday. This is Travis Holmes with your Viking Report for January 3rd. And for the latest on Cleveland State Vikings athletics, visit csuvikings.com.